Bitch, it's three in the morning. It's three in the morning. It's three in the morning. I just found out that Drake dropped a new album. I got work in the morning. I got all this stuff I got to do tomorrow. But honestly, never freaking mind, son. Let, let's go. Let, play the freaking music. Set the mood, bro. I swear if this is another certified lover boy, I will raise hell in this video. I promise you that. I promise you, yo. Don't freaking play with me, Drake. Next track on here is Falling Back. Hey. Yo. Hey. Hey. Yo. <laughs> yo, 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 <coughs> Drake, <laughs> there's no way, there's no way you set the album off with that moody ass experience, and now you, you gotta be kidding me, bro, alright, 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 you know what, song just started, I'm not gonna go in yet, if Party Next Door is on here, I'll, I'll be happy with that. If I got to go through another three minutes and 53 seconds of you doing whatever it is that you trying to do on this song, I will be upset. And I know somebody's going to be like, it's just started. Shut your dumb ass up. I don't want Drake doing this. I want, I want, damn Drake. Yep. I'll shut up. I feel kind of pissed off right now. That's how I feel, Drake. Yo, bro, yo, bro, this not what I, this, it's three in the morning, bro. It's three in the morning, dog. This not what I, how do I feel? I don't want to hear this. What the fuck? <laughs> I'm gonna tell y'all right now, I do not like Drake on this song. Keeping it a whole beat. I don't keep it in a whole beat. I like the beat. Ah, not nah, for real. Production is nice. I like that. Drake sounds. I don't like Drake on this song, and I'm gonna end it at that. <laughs> Ayo, I'm gonna act like that song does not exist. I'm just gonna wipe it out of my freaking memory. It is 3.20 in the morning. Next track on here, text go green. Yo, what are we doing here, dog? What are we do? Where's the where's the way I feel blessed? Where's where's the freaking I got energy. They they trying to take my energy. They trying to steal the wave. Where that? Where the? You know where the? I heard Poppy outside. Where who? Where that one at? Where that Drake? Where that one? Where the? I need a one dance. Where that Drake? Well, I guess this is that Drake, but a a, a ridiculous form of them. The the form that get tossed away in the corner. What the f- what are we doing here, Drake? This is- for five minutes I gotta listen to this? I know somebody probably gonna hear this music and then bring up more life. I promise you, no pun intended, that album and the songs on that had more life than whatever the hell is going on on this and 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 falling back we only two songs in my guy and i'm already upset <laughs> not because of the fact that okay we getting singing drake all right but it's just like normally we start off with the rapping you know what i'm saying we start off te tearing heads ripping people to shreds you know throwing subliminals all through the intro track what are we doing here bro is this supposed to be another playlist type thing going on because i have no idea all i know is I'm not coming back to it. <laughs> I 
Bro, this song is too damn long, man. Cut, cut it off. Song too freaking long, bro. Cut some. It's get rid of the ends. Get rid of the split ends and all of the the. the <laughs> Next track, currents. Oh hell! No, no, no! <laughs> hell no, Drake! No, no! I don't. I'm so sick and tired of that damn sound. It's been a trend for so long, and it keeps popping back up. And every time I hear it, it, it it's like my eyes start twitching and shit. I hate it. And we not about to start off this album, what, three songs in. And you about to say whatever the hell you about to say on this. E -er, e -er, I don't want to be an old ass freaking song, son. I swear to goodness, Drake. I swear, you my boy. You piss me off with Certified Lover Boy a little bit, you know, but I, I let it go because you got some classics. You know what I'm saying? Ain't nobody denying you that. But I'm going to tell you straight to flip up, right to flip down, right here, as it is right this second, this solitary minute. D this ain't good, yo. And I swear, I know somebody going to be like, well, he, he had to bring us some music for the summer. This ain't it. I could go back to if you, I could go back to more life. I could go back to some of the songs on Scorpion. Everything else except Ratchet Happy Birthday. I will shoot myself if I ever hear that song again. I, I do it. I will do it. Do not tempt me for a good time. Please. Drake, what the hell is this? keep it a whole stack i don't know what's going on but this is honestly the last thing i was expecting with this album again big fan of drake all right y'all know that i i'm not a hater because i don't like what the hell is happening on this album what i don't like is the fact that we're starting the album like this it would i honestly feel like it would have made more sense if we got songs like this later on then i could i know exactly which songs i'm getting rid of but the ones i keep the ones I keep will be earlier within the album. You know what I'm saying? That's normally how it goes. But we starting this album off and you owe for you owe for 38, bro. I don't know what to say other than I don't like what's happening right now. And hopefully it turns around very, very soon because I'm losing my damn patience. OK, track number five, a keeper. This is this is actually ass. <laughs> Yo, I, I really tried to refrain from just flat out calling it that, but damn, this whatever whatever uh whatever effects that they used with like jaded and um more 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 so jaded than finesse um from Scorpion. He took that and has used it for every single song so far. There's no variety. The only variety is in the instrumentation, which I have no problem with, by the way. Production is fire. If this album so far, if this album was just the beats alone, perfect for the summer. Drake saying, why would I keep you around for eight freaking times in a row in that whatever voice? No, get rid of it. Right now, this ain't this. No, hell no, bro. No, no. No, I get up at three in the morning, see a new Drake album. Okay, cool. We we up for some new music. This this is honestly worse than Certified Lover Boy. I don't know how the hell you did it, but you did it. You did it. This is off a of first listen too. You freaking went ahead and did it too. But then again, Certified Lover Boy has champagne poetry. You know what I'm saying? It has songs to stand a leg on. This joint is just flat out on the freaking ground crying for help. This, this is sad, yeah. <laughs> Yo, uh, next track on here, calling my name. Take off your clothes, relieve pressure. I need your touch. This is the part of the album where you're starting to hear music 
that gets played at clubs where people have overdosed because of cocaine laced with fentanyl. Um, nobody knows what the hell is going on. Everybody is in complete panic. And there's one person at the bar just looking around as if everything is cool, calm, and collected. That is the person that you go and freaking arrest. That person is Drake. That person is the one who made this album. And that person needs to be locked away and thrown into the pit, into the, under the damn jail. This is ridiculous, yo. I, again, wasn't expecting this, wasn't expecting the album at all. But for this, I will take this album without Drake on it. Just give me the instrumentals. Matter of fact, you know what, Drake, since you like dropping deluxes and dropping things random, whatever, drop this album without you on it, okay? I'm, I'm being so dead ass too. Drop this album with you not singing, doing nothing. How do I feel? None of that. Just the instrumentals, period. And and I will enjoy that for the rest of the summer. I will actually enjoy that more than you, whatever. Whatever, son. This is wild. There's some crazy ass stuff going on here. There's some real poltergeist ass stuff going on, son. This is, don't make no damn sense. <laughs> Next track on here, of course, there's a track on here called Sticky. You know, why not? After calling my name, of course, you know. What the hell, man? Brother name is Tina Dial. Let's stop all that back and forth over the net. It's one, so I never pull up to the mat. You know I gotta bring the set. You know how sticky it get. You know how sticky it get. How did I know that was gonna be the chorus? How did I know? You know, just how did I, how did I just come up with that in my head? I, I should have stayed asleep. Yeah, I should have just when I found out the album dropped, I should have said, you know what? I'm going to check it out in the morning, you know, or I check it out in the next two weeks before whatever. This is crazy, bro. This is this is so sad. <laughs> by all means, though, by all means, if you enjoy this album, please understand you enjoy it. Rock with it. Listen to it. Listen to it until your ears freaking fall the hell off. I don't care. But. It's just insane to me that we have a new Drake album and this is the this is the Drake album. This is this is it. Fantastic Drake. Good great job, man. Just beautiful. This is ass. Bring them girls to the stage cuz somebody's getting paid. Free big slime out the cage. Oh, why not just do this on a regular ass beat? Like why why put yourself through all of this? You you trying so hard to stay on this joint and you you it's like a roller coaster. You go you doing all of this here. Like yo, bro. Yo, son. Yo, why? Why put yourself through this, bro? Why not have somebody else feature on this? You know what? It don't matter, you know. People going to come in the comments. Well, that's why Drake rich and you this and this. I don't give a damn about Drake money. I don't care about I don't care about none of that. I care about the music. And from what I'm hearing, from a from a uh, a hearing standpoint, bro, this is ass. <laughs> and you know what's funny to me, bro? You know what's real hilarious is the fact that you can go on a song where a beat is legit like for people who want to party all night, which is no problem with at all. This for the fist pumping people, you know what I'm saying? But this, you sending shots on a song like this? <laughs> I can imagine people had a freaking rave tripping balls and they just look up like, yo, did he just send shots to somebody? He's still beefing? Where am I? Like, it, it, that's exactly the type of... They feel us lucky for y'all, we don't do civilians. The toughest actor follows back on tour, off-road, made back, pie wreck my sister. When I say niggas down to pack something for me, then they thought... Yo, Drake, shut up, son. Oh my gosh, yo. I ain't talking about my assistant when I said somebody had to pack some Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Like dead ass. Shut up. This man talking like he pock, yo. He, he, he le Yo, shout out Kanye, but he legit running around like he pock. Like for real. This man is all here talking about we you lucky we don't do civilians. Who are you? You you could go to jail just by hitting somebody on accident. You could get sued straight up. 
Yo, Drake, dog, stop. Stop, bro. For real. Please. Please. <laughs> I'm so tired of this. Please. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Damn. Who are you? Why are you trying to intimidate people so hard? Why are you trying so hard, bro? I promise you, you don't have to try. So you didn't try. You didn't have to try so hard before. Who are you? Who who are you sending shots to that you want them to to reply back? So is it push a T? Huh? You want push it to destroy your life again and put you in shambles, make you the laughing stock of the whole damn world again? I don't think you want that, bro. You don't. You know you don't want that. You because you you made certified lover boy because of it. I mean, come on now. I. I Damn, Drake. Yo, shout out to the engineer, because I know you had to work the hell out of that damn DSer, bro. You, for that one, for that little stretch just now, you, yo, shout out to the engineer, my guy. Next track on here, Massive. Bro, I'm I'm not even I'm not trolling, I'm not joking. I'm legit pissed off right now at the fact that like I was actually excited when I found out Drake dropped this album. I was actually excited. There is not a single song on this album that makes any sense as to why it was dropped. I can honestly say again, drop this album with Drake not singing on it. And it's just the instrumentals. I'm sure somebody has already made a playlist like that. Perfect for the summer. It's a great playlist for the summer. Drake doing whatever the hell he doing on this bitch right now. Hell no. Get rid of it. It's a skip. I know my funeral gonna be lit. It's how I treat people. I know my funeral gonna be lit. Because of how I treated people. You're putting sentimental lyrics like that. On a beat. Where people will be on a freaking beach, drunk off their ass, not thinking about, oh, Drake, you're so kind. No, they trying to find their damn car keys. Okay, um, next track on here is Flights Booked. Uh, these songs are way too freaking long for no damn reason. Drake is doing whatever the hell he's trying to do on these uh, songs, beats, instrumentals, whatever. Um, he doesn't sound good. This thing is terrible compared to the production on here. Um, the fact that this album has mostly all of it been just Drake trying to sing his ass off. Um, honestly pisses me off because what the hell? I mean, I know we, you know, Drake does the R and B and rap or whatever. Oftentimes it's together. This it's not, it's just, it don't sound good. And it sounds like he's trying way too freaking hard for no reason, for no reason. He, even with the subliminals, you doing that on a song with people fist bumping? Are you for real? Word? It's like that? Whatever. Next on here, Flight's Booked. And I'm struggling to go the last day. Next track on here, Overdrive. Alright, bro. That's that's enough of that. Uh, next track on here, Downhill. I can't pretend. I can't pretend it was fine. Oh, and done overnight. Overnight, we're done overnight. Yeah. Um. That's another thing about these tracks too. They're mad repetitive. It's mad repetitive. It's slow as hell. It's just. Nothing is being said on any of these freaking songs, bro. It's just whatever, you know, like Drake is legit making background music. This is all background music. Like you, you're not paying attention to the lyrics. You're just, you just have the music on and you're doing something else. Like this is really background ass freaking music. I thought Certified Lover Boy was some background music, but this is real live. Like, hey, yo, just put something on just to put something on. You know, we're not paying attention. Flip that damn album, you know, like... <laughs> Like, damn, bro. Um, what's the next stupid track on here? Next track on here, Ty, 
tie that binds. This is what I'm talking about. The instrumental is really, really good. I like this. When I'm not hearing Drake, oh baby, whatever the hell, this is nice. I like this. This is this is smooth. This is chill. This is a this is enjoyable. This is tolerable. You know what I'm saying? Whatever Drake, tr yo, bro, I feel like a broken record, but my lord, why drop this? <laughs> yo, son, had to. You made me take my spectacles off, man. Effortlessly, effortlessly. Until it goes, it's a promise. Till it goes, hey. Again, if you like this album, you like it to each his own. But uh, I know I'll go back to this album as long as Drake is not singing on it. All right. That's how I feel about it. For real. Um, Next track, Liability. This damn album is a freaking liability. I already know. I, I'm telling y'all right now. Shout out. Shout out Miami. He's going to eat this track up <laughs> i already know shot that's my boy but hey chopped and screwed drake pause if necessary not bad not bad um i see he did this he chopped and screwed the song before shrella uh, uh strellas could you know but you know whatever um i i don't have a problem with this one as much as i have i've had a problem with this entire album so far anyways um that was liability this is the last track on the album thank you lord uh jimmy cooks featuring 21 savage i'm sure this track is going to be great because 21 is on it but um i've been proven wrong before with this entire album Yo, Drake, I swear, you know what? You waited to the last minute, the last second when there was like a glimmer, this, this much, this much of hope left for me listening to this freaking album to finally rap, to finally actually, you know what? Never mind. I would have your court side, not the middle row. I start to bubble, see the suds, that shit good to go. Whole sound suave, but I can't get me cold. I could tell her head good before I even know. Bitch, don't tell me that you model if you ain't been involved. Let yeah, my brother dry while I shoot team effort. Asking all these questions, bitch, you must thank you, Nadesca. Rose ain't been with lemon pepper. She wanna hear some Afro beats, cause she just part of Tesla. Yo, must thank he a wrestler, but this ain't UFC, this chopper came with a compressor. I'm tired. This Drake album is not good. Uh, Liability and 21 Savage on this album were the only good parts of this album. I guess, no. Along with the production for this entire album, um, those were the only like good things about it. Uh, I didn't like Drake on this album whatsoever. Um, I can do with this album. I can... I can listen to this album without Drake on it, for real. And, um, you know, that's just how I feel. Uh, I wasn't expecting a new Drake album, but we got one. And now this is another album that I can add to the collection that I won't be listening to. Um, I mean, not that it matters. You know, what what I have to say doesn't matter. But um, it's just, yo, this, this is not good. I didn't enjoy it, didn't like it, didn't rock with it. Instrumentals on here were great loved it all loved all of them um but again drake nothing absolutely nothing for me uh repetitive lazy um nothing nothing just nothing just a, a void of nothingness a void of 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 nothing son like and and honestly <laughs> honestly never mind is such a fitting title for this album because you would think by the intro He's gearing us, or he's setting us up for a really, really good album, setting us up for some heat, and then he's like, ah, nah. It's like when Carmelo picked up the ball and was about to shoot, and then he threw it back in the court, just like that. You know what I'm saying? 
But uh, yeah, Drake, don't do this again. You know, I I mean, you I can't tell you what to do, but you, this this, in my opinion, I didn't enjoy it. It's off my first listen. Um, no, you know, I could do without this album. Drake got a whole bunch of albums that I go back to on a regular basis. This just won't be one of them. That's all it is. You know what I'm saying? If you enjoyed the album, let me know, of course. Uh, of course, there's no disrespect to Drake and anybody else who worked on the album, but it's just that I didn't enjoy it. I didn't like it. I didn't rock with it like that. So that's just how I feel. If you guys enjoyed today's video, do make sure to leave a like. Don't forget to subscribe for more. As always, Jen Squad, thank you for watching. Um, hopefully, Drake decides to drop something later on in the year. You never know. And it's actually good. Hopefully, you know, but um, whatever. Never mind, honestly, you know. I, I tried that again. It didn't work. It probably didn't work the first time either, did it? But, eh, you know, who cares? Straight got fake dreads in his hair. You know, he's making this garbage. Whatever. Who cares? You know, it's 6 in the morning. I, I, I don't care about my health. Whatever. Um, I'm going to catch y'all on the next one. Peace.